shit. Uh, listen. I leave a bitch where she lost me. Got me fucked up. Barely know me. My plan is to run up. Minimizing whole shit. Diluting all confusion in my dome piece. I'm just trying to do it like dog from East Long Beach. Flying up for chronic and tonic. On my own beach. Flying up the cop and the styling. Then they clone feet. Niggas been jocking and watching this round 03. Yeah, I might chop it and kick it, but don't quote me. Yeah, niggas land. Welcome back from Jazz Glow. Now, for this episode, man. Man, this guy's making his third appearance, man. But he's no stranger to the show, man. This time, man. He brought his latest artist to the show, man. And I'm going to say this right now, man. This top-notch debut produced by the God himself, man, I'm telling you, Detroit is very special, man. Especially for, like, a new artist like yourself right here. Man, I got the one and only. Welcome back, my brother, Bronze Nazareth. And for the first time, but not last time, Kurt Solid. Yo, what's up? What up, what up, what up, what up right? yo? So, yo, this release album was just released yesterday. So, yo, I just want to let you all know, um... How was it making? Like, how did you two come across each other? I mean, uh, this, uh, Solid is, uh, he's basically uh, a branch off the Salute the Kid tree. So um, I'll let him tell you how he met Salute, <laughs> but I met Solid through Salute. Uh, uh, Kurt opened up for us at a couple shows here in Detroit. And, uh, you know, it's, it, we, we've been, uh, we, we, we reconnected, you know, about a year, year and a half ago. And uh, you know, I, I listened to his his EP, and I'm like, yo, let's let's get to work and shit. So, you know, and then he can tell you his travels and how he he linked with Luke. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, man, I met Luke, shit, 20 years ago. Uh, oh wow, okay. My, yeah, through my cousin. Uh, I don't even know if Luke had was with Brian yet. It was early, like. 2000, 2001. And um, we just connected and he always told me like, you know, if something happened for me, he was always going to um, get back with me. And uh, he got with uh, Bronze. I met Bronze probably, what, like 2007? Somewhere like, oh, that's my first, probably the first time I met. And uh, he they, they let me come out to a couple shows. Mm -hmm. And uh, we reconnected on social media, like Brian said, about, about a year and a half, two years ago. And uh, it's been on ever since. It's been on. Now, when I went and looked back at your discography, Kurt, like I noticed like there was only the process and the soul of Detroit now, too. Now, did you go by another name and this just a rebrand? Or did you just finally be like, all right, you know what? I'm going to start taking this rap serious. Um, I kind of, I, I came out with... Um, with um Eshawn back in the day, like 2011, mm -hmm. 2010, mm -hmm. I had like a mixtape, and I was going by um I was going by King Solomon. Okay. And um I did a lot of uh production. Actually, I did basically all the production on that uh project. But that was like 2010. I was more producing. And um, but since around 2012, it's um, I've, I've just been doing, you know, what I was doing a uh, couple of mixtapes here and there. Um, I had an EP like Ryan was saying, and um, but I was going by um, Kurt, and then I, I started going by Kurt Solid probably about 2018. But um, so it's it's been it's just been um, it's, it's been no major releases. It's been a couple of mixtapes here and there throughout the um years, but uh except for this one. This is this yeah, the now it's, now it's official. This, mm -hmm. this is my first official project. Yeah, it's a couple of smaller projects I had in the past. See, I like how we kind of got that backstory now too, because it shows like the process of the title, because knowing that you guys it's history, it's like, you know what, let's come together and make some magic. So was that like like the initial coming for the title with this project? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Definitely the process that and it took it took a minute to go with the, uh, the title too and that just kind of came yeah. one day we seen you like yeah that's that's, that's dope it. that's, that's dope. so we that's went it. with that but yeah that's that make a lot of sense definitely Word. yeah, yeah I like, you know I like the title to have that you know got to have a good meaning got to connect to what we're doing and shit you know what I'm saying because. I think music is much more than just listening to it I think you know it's something spiritual that connects with you you know what I mean so um. <laughs> I'm like, yo, when he came with the process, I was like, yeah, that's it. Cause it was, it was a process making the album. Not, not that it was hard or nothing, but yo, uh, 
bro, bro, work ethic is top notch. So you know what I'm saying? We was we was working, we was kicking it. You know, we got some other songs that that's gonna fit on the next one. So yeah, bro. Now, was this first official Black Day introduction to like your fans was on um if you're worried you should be now? Yeah, yeah, I think that was his debut. Yeah, yeah, yeah I think so. He was on that docs, uh, Hollywood docs as well. So, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, that came just shortly after mine. But yeah, yeah you can't was, forget the guy. Like, Correct, yo, come on, yo. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> now, now yeah. with this project now too, like um, bronze. Um, I'm curious now too because I seen this saying on Twitter and can't take Twitter too serious, but this actually made some sense. Okay. They said that you're not a true producer unless you complete a true body of work. Now, have you done this several times? Now, would you agree with the same Browns? Um, damn, that's a tough one. Because I <laughs> like I don't want to shit on all the people because this it's really a singles game right now, and a lot of people have uh a lot of people got big off of one joint, man. Yeah, you know, and I'm talking about all genres, you know, electronic, all that shit. So, um, no, I don't want to discredit the people that done it once. If you produce something. And you put it out in the world, um, I think you can call yourself a producer. You know what I'm saying? I think that um I think it's it's more on some Quincy Jones shit with me. I'm a career producer, you know what I'm saying? I'm not just a a, a one-off or uh, you know, a, a, a guy who did a couple mm-hmm. joints and disappeared. You know, I've been going since 05 with the with the full album. So like I'm really out here trying to outdo who outdo whoever got the most you know, banging in classics albums, you know what I mean? So, um, you know, that's that's it, man. That's how I feel about it. <laughs> See, I like how you put it like that now, too, because, like, that could, that's saying on Twitter, because people would take that with a grain of salt, but some people take that, oh, I need to produce a full body of work. So maybe an upcoming producer to hear you saying it could actually, you know, uplift them. Well, I mean, definitely, man. I think it becomes um, easier to to become a household name and like I say, you, if you want to make music your career, uh, you, uh, you know, a one-off might probably not going to do it. You know what I'm saying? So um, I think to, to be a career producer, like if you really want to say you got a career in music and, sh- and record producer, um, yeah, I think you got to do you got to do records, you got to do albums. You know what I mean? Uh, full bodies of work, like you say, definitely. Man. So even with like introducing Kurt to the new Black, uh, no, sorry, introducing Kurt into the Black Day in July, I was curious now too because it seems like a lot of the artists within that roster came together for Kurt's collaboration now too. So I was curious, like, did you introduce like Kurt to the fan as besides from Salute, to, like, yo, this is my new artist right here, um, Kurt Soller right here. Like, how did this process go securing the guest spots with your fellow artists? No, yeah, that's, that's, that's yeah, it's, it's kind of like a label thing, man. We got, you know, we got threads where we all talk, we all support each other, we all share our shit, you know what I mean? So, um, it's, you know, it's a collective. So, if somebody hears something crazy, they're like, yo, who on that? You know what I mean? Yo, can I get on that? Or, yo, who, yo, can I get you on this, bro? Yo, jump on this for me. So, you know, it's all love between the, to, the, the guys on the label, man. So, you know, I hope he feels welcome with, you know, open arms and shit, you know what I mean? Now, now, Kurt, now, when I was taking with your process now, too, I, I, no pun intended right now, too, when I was listening mm-hmm. to this project now, too, I must have ran this song back like four or five times, like my first listen to, because I just couldn't get over it. All the Burdens. Now, this is a this is a very powerful song. Like, mm-hmm. like it's, a, it's for the people who haven't heard this. It's about an older cousin who is jealous of his little cousin, which didn't take a turn for the worst. Now, with this song now, too, is this like based on a personal experience that you had, or is this like something like with your story writing skills, let's say? Because this is very powerful. Nah, it was it was more so just um story writing, really. It was uh like I, I like a lot of I like story rapping writer uh rappers. So I just tried to take a page out of that book really and um come with something that I could try to make visual and relatable. Yeah. You know, so that was that was basically the whole basis of it. But um, it it could have been about you know any type of relationship that can be close, really. But it was just I figured that'd be maybe a little more relatable, more visual. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, because like I ain't gonna lie, because like when certain artists put like a story mm-hmm. together like that, you can picture it in your head, like a movie going on in your head. So when Bronze, when you were producing this, like, did you know he was gonna come with this, or did he come back like, yo, Bronze, like, check this out? Oh yeah, he just laid it on me, man. He had this, he had the story. <laughs> I think we had a bunch of parts, and we added a couple more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we added a, we added a couple of more pieces, and yeah, no, but he had the, he had the story right there, and I was just like, damn, this. When we first made it, I was, I, I like you say, I ran it back a few times, you know what I mean? And then, uh, you know, then we got we we got the vocals on there. And she killed the hook, oh man, oh, man. and uh, that, yeah, capped it off. Yeah, so yeah, that. yeah. Did you ask him the same question after you laid it down? Uh, I, I think I did. I think I did. I yeah, actually yeah, wanted to yeah, did yeah. this up. You see right, something yeah, happening. Yeah. Like, yeah, so. Yeah, I thought the same shit you thought. I'm like, damn. <laughs> this sounds like it's personal experience right here. Man. Yeah, for real. Yeah. Very that's, well written, man. That's just, yeah. that's just A1, right? That's just A1 right there. Now, also now, too, like, when I was listening to this song now too, like when I first ever heard of Kurt Solid now too, it was on the if you're scared, uh, you should be no, if you're worried, you should be now. But when I actually le- listened to Kanye 04, I was like, damn, you know, like this kind of took me back to like the days of like, you know, when he was actually tolerable now too. So when making Kanye 04, oh yeah, by the way, I love the porn flip fucking uh, thing with the shit, man. That's awesome. <laughs> um but um, I was curious now too. When when you guys were coming together for Kanye O'Hor, did you guys spend like a good like maybe day and a half listening to the college dropouts? Like we want to do something like that because like this took me back. I ain't gonna lie. Uh, man. First, I said like, bro, I don't know. I don't even know if he writes because I just see him going to both <laughs> recite and shit, and then he spit the song. So I'm like, I'm I'm impressed with that heavily. So um. That's my take on it. No, no, it didn't take long at all. He came in there, shot it down quick. Like, you know, he's he's he killer in the booth, you know what I mean? So I'll let him speak on no, it though. It was, I'm gonna be real with you. It was the energy from the beat for me. Like when I first started, you know, when I first went into it, but I didn't even bronze kind of came with the hook and put it right there. And I'm like, oh, that is dope. You like he like, yeah, keep it like that. All right, bet. And doubled the hook, so that was kind of like a. I didn't have a hook right there, you know. He put it there and and put it, so it, that kind of made it more. The, it made the the uh, song flow better. But for me, it was the energy, man. I just was writing to the energy, really, you know. Just to be honest with you, right? Now I was curious now too, like coming up for Kurt Solid now too, being from Detroit. Like, who did you look up to? Because like I'm just curious on like who did you actually like take for your inspiration to like, you know, I want to take, I want to take this serious and tell my story. I mean, you, you mean as far as from the, from Detroit or just no, anywhere. It could be anywhere. Oh man. I mean, everybody, I can't, it, it's so many people. I mean, from the storytelling of Slick Rick and Biggie and, and, you know, the Nas and the Wu and a person, even uh, like Dre, cause Dre was the first person I, when I met Dre is when I discovered a couple other lyricists in Detroit, like uh, Dre is salute the kid. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, oh, Luke, Luke. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. people don't get confused with the doctor. Yes, yeah. Yeah, right, 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 right. right. Yeah, I got you. <laughs> <laughs> but when I when I met him, and it was a couple other lyricists from the from Detroit that let me keep going as far as because because it wasn't really popular to rap like that when I was younger, but when I I, I discovered salute. I discovered rock bottom in the city and Eminem came at that same time around that same. So it was a lot of, you know, lyricists, Royce and Elza. I, I kind of heard, I, I discovered all these people around the same time. And then when I met Bronze, them, I'm like, they rap like this too. You know what I'm saying? So it was like, it was all, a, it was able to keep doing that. You know what I mean? So, so you, you name it, man, it's hard for me to really put it in the box. How many people really inspire yeah, me, man. Dope. I'm saying, like, uh, I like how you say that too. Like, around it was around the time when M. Troy came out now, too. Like, mm-hmm. like this is like an experience. Like, I, I couldn't imagine like this being replicated now, too. But, like, when a movie like Eight Mile comes into like like the universal process now, too, how does that affect like artists and producers onto like a local scene, knowing like this entire world is looking at them? Like, what was your guys' process during that time 
knowing like you know the world is on you like the world has their eyes on you like the entire city with eight mile eight mile some of it got shot in my neighborhood the other part got shot like by my high school so i was seeing eight mile when it was happening to see it it was Ooh. it was crazy like <laughs> You know, I had people close to the situation, so I was always hearing stuff. So I was, since I was younger, I was always kind of some way kind of hearing little stuff because I knew people who knew people. It, it was it was crazy. It was hard to really ex explain how that whole time was because it was just, uh, like like you say, it was a lot of attention, and it was it happened fast too, you know. And, like, now this is, like, this is why reason why I brought it up now too. Now they're saying that Fifty is going to be doing an eight mile continuation and up there for a TV show. So I'm mm -hmm. thinking that you know if MS2 to the Detroit route, he's going to come back and like how he did with the eight mile things now too. So if either of you guys got hit up to like be in this like TV show, are you guys opposed to acting, or do you guys want to keep your legacy strictly music? Because I was curious about this. No, I, I no, I haven't been hit up. Uh... I do some acting. See what's see what's what. Yeah, I don't mind. Would, would you would you spit it? Would you spit a sixteen? Would I spit a sixteen on on, on, <laughs> on camera? Oh yeah, no, like you know how they did the battles and stuff like that. Like say like yeah. like different battles and stuff like that. Would yeah. you both are doing that? Yeah, no, I do that for sure. I'm a rapper. <laughs> I'm an MC. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Hey, if anyone's listening, yo, somebody get Bros to score this man. It'd be legendary right there. Word up. Now, um, I was curious now too about Kurt now too. When when you came to together with Bronze to actually produce a full body of work now too, like, like did you come to him or did he come to you? Because I like how when an artist and producer come together, because especially for a debut like this now too, because like you didn't play around with this debut at all. You have several songs on here that you can go back to now too. Like even a thousand songs. We don't sample stitch on here though. But yo, that that flip though. Who? Oh my God, yo! <laughs> I was curious now too. Like, how, how did you come like together with Bronze for this project? Now, too, do we want the full backstory on this? <laughs> um, I I think when we when we really started was um like a little bit after the pandemic, and I put some um remember the freestyles, and I think yeah. we, I think Bronze reached out like oh. I didn't know you still were still um right. um going in and this that and the third and send me like three or four beats and we went from from there really and um so really yeah it, it was, I think it was off off of social media I put a couple of freestyle content up and just was con consistent with it for mm -hmm. a minute it caught Brian's attention again because like I say we hadn't we we had I like I've known him for a long time but for a minute I didn't really have any contact and then social media kind of brought us back together. You know? Now I like how you brought up social media now too. You're only on Twitter, right? Me? Yes. Oh no, 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 no. I got yeah, Instagram. Everybody. I got a uh, Facebook. Okay. Uh, it's okay. all it's all Kurt Solid. K-U-R-T S-O-L-I-D. All right. All right, I'm yeah. gonna have to look again because I did look for you. I got you on Twitter, but I couldn't find your ID. So just to let people know we're added in there now too. Yeah. yeah. So, so when you guys finish this now too, like, was there songs that didn't make the cut? Because I always like hearing about like, because it flows all throughout the album all the way to the end. But I was curious, like, when you got to the end, is that your full name for song fourteen? No, no, <laughs> no. My uh, my uh, name uh, Curtis Solomon. Yeah. Oh, okay. So that, oh, okay, okay. That okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's just a shot to the wrestler, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. But, 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 you know, we did it with the K instead of the C for Kurt, you know what I right, mean? Right, right, right. Uh, yeah. Okay, yeah, I got absolutely. you now, Word too. up, word up. So when you finish this now, too, like, like, did you know that this was going to be your debut? Because for an artist coming into the game now, too, like, you want to make a very impressionable debut now, too, because in a day and age, now too, music be so, like, disposable now, too. But I think like with this album now too, this will this will be one of Detroit's pure gems now too. Cause I love when a new artist comes out and tells their story because it's a breath of fresh air. I always tell people, don't be scared to listen to a new artist. And sometimes it may take an artist like a bronze I'm oh, sorry, like an artist and producer like Bronze Nazareth for them to actually check out somebody like a Kurt Solid now too. So would you guys agree with that? 
Definitely, yes. That was that was my whole aim. I couldn't really. I I was waiting on a situation like this for years, like where I could have somebody established who was, you know, in the game, who would you know take take the op. Why I could have an opportunity in. That's that's really what happened, but that's what I was waiting on. That's definitely a person just like Bronze, who was like I say, moving around in the in the, in the industry, and um, that's what happened. Man. Yeah, yeah, I uh, I definitely agree as well, man. I think um, I don't know. I'm one of the people that's gonna reach out, reach, reach, reach. I don't. I'm not scared to fuck with a new artist. I fuck with dope shit. You know what I mean? So um. You know, it's it's a lot of dudes in the game that don't fuck with you because you might not be as big of a name as them. This I'm I'm really I'm not that way. You know what I mean? I fuck with dope shit and um and trust me, it, it it's on all levels. You know what I'm saying? It's people that's at a certain level that might not let me fuck with them or might not fuck with me because I'm not on their level. You know what I'm saying? So it's it's just part of the game. You know they call it the ceiling. You know what I'm saying? So um. You know what I'm saying? But I'm me personally, if we don't if we're not putting out new music, new art, you know what I'm saying? What are we doing? You know what I mean? I'm not scared to put a new artist out, period. You know what I mean? See, I like that. I, I kind of wish like, you know, more producers were like that too. They're like, oh, we'll only get to a few in your pop and now too. Because we see that sometimes a lot with and half. Like we'll see like a big name producer. Once that artist starts getting a little bit of buzz, they're like, okay, now let me, you know, mess with him. But it's like where were you from the start? Yeah. But then again, sometimes they weren't really in tune with that, though. Yep, yeah, yeah. it happens, bro. Definitely happens. Now, it's Kurt, now I got it's, it's definitely difficult for a new artist. Uh, uh, you know, to to the, the scene is already oversaturated, so mm -hmm. um, it's definitely hard to tread through everything and find a, a, a new artist who, who who ain't been on your radar. But you know, what I'm saying like just like how. When I did the bronze tape with Ghostface, I got to gather a bunch of his fans, you know what I mean? And they become my fans. And I like to pass that along and shit. So now Kurt Sally gonna grab some of my fans. And you know, that's how we spread good music, you know what I mean? So I like how we're on the DSP that says Bronze Nazareth and Kurt Sally now too. Because like you said, a lot of people will discover him too. Because there's a lot of people who follow Bronze Nazareth. So when they hear actually Bronze on the production, people love Bronze production, you know, I swear, man. But uh, it's even better when he raps, man. <laughs> Salute. Now, 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 Kurt, I got to ask. Now, I just have to ask. Knowing that Bronze history now too, did you ask for a Wise Man feature? I'm sorry. I couldn't you know hear that bronze history. Did you ask for a wise men feature? Oh, definitely. It was that that went what I was saying. You know what I'm saying? I needed I need everybody who I, who I could get, man, for the help. You know what I'm saying? But definitely I had to get them off the tree. You already know. So I would have loved the wise men on 1000. Woo! Yo, that yo, that's my favorite beach by bronze right there. Word up, bro. Word. So like even like with like the process now too like coming together with a song for like a thousand now too like did you know you want to do a flip like that because knowing your history and not like that too you don't want to like actually like you know let me flip something that's already classic now too but when you did it now too you gave it that that detroit sprinkle on top of it i like to call it yeah bro uh you know that shit just came together so well um i like to connect what the artist is talking about with what i cut into it so I mean that shit just connected, bro. A thousand. You gotta, you know, um the cut was perfect. I had recently heard it too, and and you know, I heard it a while ago, but I heard it again recently and I was like, yo, that's perfect. And so yeah, I laid it in there, man. You know what I mean? So even with this now too, because I noticed like people like to dispose of music really fast now too. What hopes do you guys hold like like with visuals now too? Because Kanye or four, I like to very call it like a very colorful visual now too because yeah. man we don't get visuals like this anymore now too mm -hmm. normally when an artist drops a video like this okay they're like that's it that's it for the song right there but like i know it in distant age people like to see visuals now too so with being a visual like having visuals is that important for this project definitely i think uh i mean you know, i can just look at our numbers at black day and every joint that we have a video for the numbers, the numbers is higher for each one. So, 
I mean, it only makes sense, man. You know, try to. I would do a fucking video for every song. You know what I'm saying? If I can, I've had a few projects where I did five, six, seven videos. You know what I mean? So, um, definitely, man. I think having visuals lets the people connect to you, see who you are, look at your face, because everybody looks at you, bro. They, they, everybody's looking. You know what I mean? So, people want to know just the face behind the voice. People want to know like. A big thing in rap is can we believe you? You know what I mean? Do we believe this motherfucker or not? You know what I mean? So <laughs> I think to see, you know I'm saying, I think to see real niggas on camera, it's like, you know what I'm saying? People can be like, yo, I can get with because let's let's be real. It's it's not just about your skills. Mm -hmm. You gotta have your skills, you gotta have your charisma, you gotta have all that shit, bro. So people gotta see you, you know what I mean? I think that's definitely favorable if you can do as many videos as possible. Now, yeah. Kurt, like you seem like the type of individual to be very quiet in person now, too. But when you get on the mic, man, too, you probably light up the entire room now, too. Now, is this on point or not really? No, uh, man, I just be observing, man. I, I'm, I'm, I'm just no. I, I wouldn't say I'm quiet, but you know, I just be reserved, man. Hey, man, I can't even front like that. <laughs> like the studio for us, bro. It's, it's kind of boring, bro. We just yeah. we be in this bitch working, bro. We don't. It ain't like we like we blow or whatever. We party. We drink a little bit, but we don't. It's not like a party and shit. So oh, yeah. it's like do, 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 boom. But like, yeah, he definitely. The way I think he lighted up is. It's like I really don't got to do no work, bro. He be one take in this shit. You know what I'm saying, bro? Be in there doing his work. So yeah, yeah man. Nah, yeah, I like to have a good time, though, man. But for the Right. For the most part, man, I, I, I really like working. I like mm. the studio, you know, like that's that's what I like to do, man. I like the whole process, no pun intended. <laughs> but I like I like the whole process right. to from the production. I like when I hear the beat from the real so I like all of it, man. So that's what I like to do. So yeah, we, that's my thing, we, we, we we party at the shows, man. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and I also see that now too. Like I also see like Bronze, you're doing a lot more shows now too, like with like nonfiction and people like that now too. So I was curious now too. Is there a new strive for performing live for Bronze now there? Um I, yeah, I think so, man. I, my, my my recent show has been um been filling up nicely and shit better than, than before. I think it's constant work, you know, working with ghosts and, and crooked eye, like I say, collective fans and shit. Rock Marcy doing the Black Day stuff. You know, every 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 one of these uh platforms is a dip into a bunch of new fans. And so um yeah bro I, I love doing shows. That's like for me shows is like the reward for all the work. Um I'm not like a big club going dude like dudes be at the club, I'll be at the crib mixing and shit. So yeah I feel that I, um but I thoroughly enjoy myself at shows and shit. So for me, that's like the reward for the work. And um, yeah, shows is coming in. We working on a few, trying to get to the land down under. You know what I mean? So uh, we we got some shit boiling. Definitely shows is picking up. Word up. Well, leading into that question now too. This one is for Kurt now too. I was curious now too because I recently watched um artist um. There was like one, there was a prodigy show. He did H9C, but it was backed by Blue Notes. And like when Jay Z did his Reasonable Doubt concert for the uh, Reasonable Doubt, would you ever do something like this for the process? Like actually perform it live and like actually have it recorded now, too? Because like I think that would be very dope for a new artist to do in this day and age now, too. Because like I said, we don't really see that nowadays now. And I remember when I was going through the Black, uh, Black July, uh, sorry, Black Day in July website now, too. I was looking at your bio. You have like in studio sessions of you performing your songs and stuff like that. So from Soul of Detroit. So would you ever do something like that? Like an in studio session? Like how you guys are doing right now? Definitely, definitely. That's actually it's funny you say that's actually something we're trying to put together as for some um content. So real soon some something to that degree, you know, um moving forward, definitely. But yeah, I, I love doing that. That uh, I, I love content, so that was definitely something that I was uh, thinking about. Mm -hmm. Sure. Yeah, now, yeah. like, I I have to ask it because when I saw this clip, I'm like, yo, is this like a like because Kanye loves porn, but like, yo, when you did the pro the process Pornhub flip like that too, like, <laughs> is this like gonna be merch for the album or is this like a homage to Kanye? I was just I was curious about that. <laughs> no, no, it's actually gonna be merch for the album. We uh <laughs> we put we put it up like real soon, like in the next couple of days or so 
So, um, but no, it's, it's, it's just some merch. I, I thought it was uh, kind of funny, yeah. <laughs> a, little, a little catchy, you know. So yeah. I, I, I went on ahead and, and put that put that down. But yeah, it worked. Like, yeah, because you know, when I peeped the video, you know, I just couldn't help because, like, you know, like no one calling you sister is like, yo, is this like, is this a hermit or is this merch? <laughs> <laughs> That's what's up, bro. <laughs> Got him thinking. That's what's up, man. Right. <laughs> now, um, also now too, um, with this project now too, I'm also curious about album covers too. Was this just like a regular album cover, or is this like a story behind it now too? Because like album covers can be something that's a hit and miss now too. And I think like when you, <laughs> when you take a look at this project now too, like it's something like you got something to say. So what was this project like? The cover going like. You go ahead. You go ahead. <laughs> so we booked the spot, you know, to do the photo shoot, and we got the cameraman and all that. And uh, we was trying to, we was trying to shoot for like Ohio players type of cover because my man Solid, I don't know if you listen to the album, he uh, he uh, he has a lot of women involved in the album <laughs> and in his speech. You know what I mean? Um, I hope I said that smooth enough. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, so um, we was like, yo, let's do like Ohio Players type of joint. You know, y'all know the Ohio Players cover. But like the, the oh, like we yeah. get to the spot and she hits him like, I can't come. So we had a model. We had a model ready and all that. I mean, you know, and so, you know, she was like, she couldn't come the day of we get to the photo shoot. But so the cover was kind of like improvised and shit. We still had the spot. It was still fresh, you know what I mean? Middle of Detroit, you know what I mean? So um, yeah, that was kind of the story behind that. It was supposed to be something different, but I mean it's it's fire, no, no doubt. You know what I mean? I think it fits perfect. Yeah, because we're like when you see an album cover like that, too, I think it actually works about the model now too, because if people may get the wrong perception, because people like to judge an album like by its book until you actually listen to it, because they may be like Oh, this may be like just like you know, like boats and hoes, but when you actually listen to it now, too, it's actually takes you to a very personal journey. Well, I don't know if it's half personal because these storytelling skills are immaculate right now. I got a front. Yeah, appreciate it. Thank you, man. So now, yo, Kurt Solid, Bronze Nazareth, man, yo, yo, this album now, it's only been out one a day. Like I said, I'm I'm just you know, I'm just anticipating now too. But mm -hmm. with your guys' future work now together now, too, I was curious, Bronze now too. Can we expect any new wise man music incorporated in your Black Day in July artists? Um, I, I, I mean, that's tough for me, bro. I I actually get asked this question a lot, man. And um, we almost had a deal for a new wise man album, but uh, it's it's hard for me because, like, to me, um, it's it's not the same. It's not the wise man no more. With 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 no Cav. By the way, salute the kid gets out May twenty third. You know what I'm saying? It's still free salute, but he'll be back May twenty third. But without without Kevlar and um, I say Philly's kind of inactive. Um, it's not the wise men to me no more. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, it's not the same group. So I, I feel like if we come back and configure some shit, like I got a few Kev verses. I got a couple Philly, but it, you know what I'm saying? It ain't fresh and new. You know, you don't want to do that for a new album. So I feel like um, the Wiseman, it would be a whole different group if we come out now. That's why I kind of geared it more towards this is the Black Day Collective. You know what I mean? So that was intentional because, um, you know, like Luke been, Luke been locked down since 2013. Yeah. Uh, you know, Philly, Philly not really, you know, he kind of went and did his own thing, different type of music. Um, and as you know, Kev passed. So, like I say, to me, it's not the same group. And to do an album now, I feel like it's a little blasphemy. You know what I mean? So, um, I highly doubt it to be any more wise than shit, bro. I like that answer now too, because you don't want to wreck the legacy now too. You want to keep it as intact as it is. Yeah, definitely, man. Definitely. Now I gotta ask now too, because Ella's day on this record now too, man, yo, yo. Are you producing Ella's next album now too? Because yo, this is this is one guy I'm waiting for, man. It means Ella be building in the DMs, man. But yo, Ella, yo, yo, Ella, you watching? Yo, we waiting. Yo, yeah, I got I got Ella on his next album, dog. Yeah, I got I think I did every beat on there. Um, it's done. Um, it's we probably about to start launching ads for it very soon. Um, 
You know, we gotta let Solid do his thing for a minute and bubble. Oh yeah, of course, of course. Yeah, yeah we then we sliding in then we sliding in the early days. But uh yo, yeah, illest shit is uh yo, his new album is called Punch. That's his middle name, um La Punch. Shout out Illa. Um, but um yeah, this his album Punch is yo, it's <laughs> this shit is crazy. It's like it's different, <clears throat> but like in a in a real good way, like in a good way. Yeah. Ill on some shit on here. We got some crazy shit. Like so, um, yeah, it will come in, bro. Right after this, man. Black Day. We gonna definitely keep pushing. The Kurt Solid feature on that. Though. We gonna keep busting, man. Oh, definitely. I'm on there. I'm on there. Okay, yeah, that's perfect. Yeah, yeah. Solid on. He on the first video. So yeah, oh. yeah, we're tying it in. Yeah, definitely. But yo, you guys, the process out right now. Like I said, I'm gonna edit this, put all the videos, the clips in it now too with the Kanye 04. But yo, if you guys made it this far now too, I encourage you guys to. If you guys like any of Bronze Nazareth now too, I think Bronze was some of Bronze's best beats on here. You say for Kurt, man, because I'm gonna lie, that's a thousand. That's my my top Bronze beat right there, man. I love that right there, man. So without further introduction, my guys, or you guys are welcome back anytime. Is there any last words before I let you two go? I let him go take you out, man. Or solid. Yo, I, I just want everybody to, I just want everybody to check check it out man, and give it an ear. Get a process of ear. You know, it's um, I feel like it's uh, I feel like it's some good, real, real, real nice in the marketplace. You know, so I just want people to check it out. You know what I mean? And um, and and, and expect more. You know, expect mm -hmm. more. Now, if you guys want physicals or anything, the link is in the bio. Support my guys. Yo, like I said, your bronze master of Kurt Solid, yo. Much love, my brothers. You guys welcome back anytime. Oh, appreciate it, bro. Big salute, Thank man. Appreciate you. it, love. Be yeah. safe, bro. If you need me, shout me out, bro. Will do. One love, my guys. Peace, bro. Peace.